This morning my dad and I talked and he told me, oh, I forget what he said. Good morning, happy Thursday. Hey. Amazing thunderstorms last night, and it's been raining all morning. It has been so wonderful because it's below 80 degrees. I feel like it's like 70 right now. It's so nice. Yeah, it's crazy how much cooler it is right now. This morning's Mr. Rogers calendar says the best thing a person can feel is to be accepted as they are, not as they will be when they grow up but as they are now, right this wow. very minute. What did I just say? Yes, yes we believe that, but that is hard. Cammie's teaching history here. I do not know how you teach history in this mess. We just remembered like 20 minutes ago that we have a counseling appointment and it's like 30 minutes away. I don't think we're gonna be late, but we were just unprepared. We're gonna be eating lunch on the road, but good thing we have the Mercedes-Benz. This is Cammie's first ride. Good mirror. I feel like I want to just sit somewhere and eat something enjoyable just to decompress from counseling. It was really good today. Uh, I learned some new things. I, I think I'd call them tools on how to interact with the hard people in my life. One of them being just what our counselor called naming it. An example of naming it for me in my life is there's someone that I wish I could have a close relationship with that the other person is unwilling to have a close relationship, but yet the dynamic is that the other person acts like everything's okay and that we do have a close relationship when we don't. Naming it for this relationship for me is saying, I'm willing to talk about surface level things with you. And let's say that person comes back and says, well, I, I wanna talk about more than surface level things with you. Then I need to say, bring that person, well, and myself back to reality and say, that's all nice and great. But the last time we tried to have more, less, more of a real relationship under the surface, it did not go well. I'm still learning this stuff, so sorry if it's that's confusing. So I was talking with Dove earlier, and she has an Instagram account, and she was sharing some of her difficulties that she has with it. Um, the most difficult thing for me about Instagram is the kind of the false sense of that I know this person um, that's like talking to me over Instagram. Yeah, it's just like because I've never met them, but I talk with them over like comments and stuff like that. It's like a f friendship. I like it's like a false friendship kind of I mean we have a relationship but it's not I don't really know them I feel like sometimes it can be sort of fake because most of the people that follow me don't know me and there's only so much you can know about a per person through like pictures and what they say about the pictures so we were talking today because Dove didn't really want to do Instagram anymore. 
I think she's really good at photography and I would love to see her be able to share and take pictures and to learn that skill because I think she's good at it. But it is confusing when it's like this relationship, you know, you want to share your work in a way we're sharing our blog, like our work with you guys. But we can't have a relationship with all 500 people that watch our videos. And we like feedback, but we also have to have a clear head and a focused goal before we get the feedback. Otherwise, we will only become what we think you want us to be. Ben and the kids have eight days before we leave and probably like 12 days before they climb the mountain. The reason why stairs are so valuable to our training right now is because to climb Mount Rainier, we have to go straight up almost two vertical miles. And it's just like straight up ice stairs. And the reason why the cardio is important is because there's significantly less oxygen up above 10,000 feet. So we're doing a four mile run with three sets of stairs in between. And we're doing each set of stairs three times. That's our next set, right over there. We just finished our last training run for the week. Look how My shiny green I found. Oh, you found all these on your run? I found some. Oh, good job. Look at all these treasures. Um, I found this one, this one, this one, this one. Um, some come from the run and some come from Ron's house. We are here to respond to the comments. We got a ton of comments from our 200th episode. Nicole B says, my favorite moment was when Ben called Cami and let her know how your therapy went. The tears said it all. I, I still tear up when I watch that video. Thanks for sharing that. Tearing up now. <laughs> Beth says, my three kids are still young and I've always been afraid of having teenagers. We always hear such negative things about parenting teens, but I love seeing your teens who love to serve, love to spend time with you, open their hearts to you. That's really cool. This is something we wish we would have had and we feel so blessed right now to have teenagers that we like to be around. So we're so happy to share it with you guys and glad that it's encouraging to you. Jessica says, Watching how you guys talk through and make up after a fight has really challenged me. When my husband does something to upset me or intentionally hurts me, I tend to keep it to myself because I hate conflict. Watching you guys work through marital conflict encourages me to speak up and talk through issues instead of keeping them bottled up. That is so hard still. <laughs> That's cool because those are the really hard things to show. So it's cool to hear how encouraging that's been for you. Isn't it cool that people learn from that? <laughs> that's cool. That is cool. 
Andrea says that this has been a great conversation starter for her and her husband. I am so glad that you mentioned that because that's one of our hopes for this, is it just sparks conversations between you guys. We got this uh, comment from KSKC, one, two, three, four. Hannah. Uh, Hannah from New Orleans that says, her favorite episode was Cammy giving birth and she thought I was so arrogant during the first few episodes and couldn't believe that I was friends with Tim. Anyways, thanks Hannah for leaving that comment. A bunch of you guys mentioned the birth. That has been one of the most incredible videos we've posted. In fact, I just got a text from my friend Sunny saying congratulations. It passed 150,000 views while we've been in the grocery store. Alicia says, Cammy, your reaction was so precious and loving and challenged me because I realized my husband is the person I've been showing the least amount of empathy to recently. I feel like my heart was cracked open and softened after watching that episode and I've been more aware of the fact that, duh, my husband has feelings that matter. So thanks for the wake up call. We're more sensitive than we look. <laughs> Christy says, I think the greatest gift was the parenting advice where one of your kids wrote the note about taking candy and asked for help. It changed the way I viewed sin in my kids' hearts. I'm working on walking through things with them and helping rather than punishing. That's huge. This could affect a whole generation of people. That's what is so awesome about this. We just went through all the comments together. Super encouraging. You know how I, was talk I talked about those days where some days I'm like, what the hell are we doing? And then some days I'm like, well, this is definitely one of those days where I'm like, I think this is all worth it. Every video takes about the same amount of time. So the sucky ones and like the good ones. And some of them we think have no impact on anyone. And then we hear that it like changed someone's life like five months later. It's so weird. Okay, yeah. we had a tough decision to make, but we came up with our five winners for our bags of coffee that we're gonna ship to you. And here they are. The first one is... Beth Bomar. Second one is Jess Heiser. Third one is Life Frame DJW. And the fourth one is the Steinhauer scene, the ones that sent us the video. And the fifth one is Doug Cannell. And we know some of you guys who know us might say, wait a second, isn't Doug Cannell a friend? Him and his wife, Jess, are friends of ours. But the reason why I do not feel guilty for one tenth of one second sending them coffee is next week they leave on the Wonderland Trail. And if you watch one of our videos, get inspired, and then haul your kids 95 miles around a Seven mountain, kids. <laughs> you deserve a bag <laughs> of coffee too. So good work, yes, guys. We We're cheering for you. We <laughs> hope you make it. Thank you guys for the comments. Yes. Um, Thank you. This was fun. Now, what we finally came to the grocery store for in the first place. <laughs> It's cool hearing that schedule thing because that didn't get like much stuff, you know. But now, but people are mentioning it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're still coming. Ah.